Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. I'm ready for fall. I, I am. The kids have been back in school for almost two full weeks now. And this morning and yesterday, it was 63 degrees in the morning in here in Georgia. Listen, I know it's still getting super hot in the afternoon, but it is enough to give me that glimmer of hope that fall is around the corner and I want to be ready for it, both for my booth and for my home. So if you want to see how I upcycle these thrifted items, into items to use in my home and to resell in my vendor booth, stick around. So my first project is something that I grabbed out of my booth that has not been selling. It's been in there a hot minute and I was like, maybe it just needs to be upcycled. So I went over the very raw wood with a, an orbital sander to get it smoother. I am not, uh, I don't like that really rough raw wood. Then I used my water mister and I sprayed down the wood. It's very porous and this is a way that it won't just soak up this paint so much. So I just went over it with one coat of DIY paint, let it completely dry and then wet distressed it with a baby wipe. I did go over on my reels and ask what else should I do to this and you guys had some really great suggestions, but what I think I'm going to do is just leave it like this and see if I can stage it a little bit better so that it transition from fall to Christmas winter time. Can always add a stamp or decoupage paper to the front, but this is what I'm going to do now and then do a really good job staging it. This next project is just a bag full of pumpkins that I got from the thrift store off season and I'm getting out Summer Crush. This color is new to me. Um, if you are new here, I love neutrals and this is a lot of orange, but I'm doing it. I, I love the shade of orange. This is, if I'm gonna do orange, this is the shade of orange I'm gonna do. So I do two coats of Summer Crush and then I get out Prairie Gray. This is more my speed. I did use this in a lot of my decor last fall and I'm not gonna wet distress any of these. I'm going to just do it with a solid color. This is cake batter. I also used this last year. And then I'm gonna go over these with clear wax. You can see that it seals DIY paint. It, it makes it look like, whoa, that's a very different color, but it will dry somewhere in the middle of the dry paint and the wax paint for this beautiful, this is the wet, and then here it is dried. I am thinking about going back over with some dark wax just slightly to make those crevices peek out. We shall see if I get that done before this video is out. I picked up this next cute little, it looks like it's a handmade stool the other day at the thrift store for $4. And I thought, listen, I'm not going to make it super fall. I'm going to keep it in my colors. So I am going with the color Faded Burlap from DIY, using my mister to kind of spray it so that the paint goes on nice and evenly. And the first coat, Oh, it 
it always looks a little scary, but I have fall I fell in love with this faded burlap color ever since I did this hutch video where I did the IOD paint lay inlay on the top of it. Guys, it is such a beautiful neutral without everything being stark white. I am in love with it. So I am just going over the top here and making sure I've got a nice smooth surface. Hindsight, I probably would have filled in these little screw, screw holes on the top here with some wood putty. Um, when I was painting this, I didn't really know what I was going to end up doing to it. I just knew that I wanted it painted and then I was trying to figure out what to do on the top. So I wish I would have filled in the holes, but I'm going for a rustic look. That's always my jam anyway. So this worked out. Next, I'm going to get the JRV paper Warwick Castle. And I used this paper in another video. Um, it was the Debbie Beard's eight ounce challenge. We were challenged to finish a piece, a large piece of furniture with eight ounces of DIY paint. And um, I did it and it was beautiful, but I supplemented that with this beautiful paper. So I'm using DIY's liquid patina as my decoupage medium, just working in little sections and working out the air bubbles towards the edge. I'm not really worried about ironing out any folds in it because it always seems to work out once you get the decoupage medium um, out, the paper really does straighten out. So I'm just putting a coat under and a coat over the top, letting it dry completely. Now this is very important, letting this paper dry completely and then going along the edges with sandpaper and sand away from your project and it gets this nice, beautiful, sanded, crisp edge. I love how this turned out. What do you guys think? Also, one of you guys mentioned that the only shots I've been getting of Henry lately of him lounging, and I said, he's been tired since the kids have gone back to school, and she said, why don't you sand, and that'll perk him right up. So here is a fun little reminder that Henry hates sanding, and he wants me to stop at all costs, but here's a little Henry cameo for y'all. Next, I'm gonna work on a cute little fall basket. My baskets are slowly dwindling out of my booth. They usually sell, guys, they eventually sell. I got this for $3, it had spring on it, so I was like, oh, let's take it from spring straight to fall, literally. So I am just directly painting it with orange, and as I'm painting this, I'm like, whoa, that's a lot of orange. Um, so I do two coats of this adding color to my life, it's good for me, and it will supplement all of the neutrals I have in my booth, right guys? Um, but it is very orange to me. I know this isn't scary, but oh boy. So I go over it with Big Top. As you can see here, it makes it have more of a sheen than the wax does, and as you can see, the color gets really rich, but it does dry somewhere in the in the middle. So after going over this with Big Top, then I decided I wanted to do some type of a little um, drop cloth label to, to kind of cover up some of the orange. So I was gonna do flowers and stuff, and then I was like, wait, let's just be literal and put the word fall 
last year when I made things that said fall, it's old. So this Fruitful Harvest stamp is last year's IOD stamp, and I did end up using one of the little leaves on here. I thought these little sprigs stamps would also look nice, but this is bright orange. I need to be like literally fall. So I use the end to kind of space it out. I've been liking using this burnt umber brown instead of black ink. Um, just for more of a subtle look and I hot glued it in place and that is it. Considering going back on this one with some dark wax as well to kind of mute this down a little bit. What do you guys think of the end result? So I'm going to break in to say that I was not happy with the final result. I didn't like how the word fall was laying on this and I did not like the bright orange. So I yanked off the hot glue, repainted those spaces, resealed them with Big Top and then since it was sealed, this dark wax is not going to stick super heavy. So I'm just going over this whole thing with dark wax and leaving it as is without the fall sign. I like this so much better. There was nothing really wrong with the first one. This one is just more of my style. So this is just an encouragement to keep doing what speaks to you and you will have customers that will like it. Project number five came from my own fall decor. I think I got these back at Kirkland's like after fall was over for like, you know, 90% off, but it has this little crack in it and I am kind of done with them. So I'm like, well, I can't sell them with a crack in it. So let's just patch this up with some air dry clay, um, let it dry completely and then I went over both of these. I have two of these pumpkins. I went over both of them with the color faded burlap and this I, I did do a lot of wet distressing with a baby wipe to get this golden beautiful bronzy color to come through and now I think I want to keep them because they look so much different to me and this is just a reminder guys you don't have to go out and shop for new home decor you can change what you already have because this even though it's the same size same shape this looks completely different to me so i did go over the top with big top and love the results what do you guys think
What did you guys think? I know I say that every time, but I really know want to know what you guys think of these projects. I am so happy that I added some dark wax to that basket. Uh, listen, I know regular orange is fine, but it just wasn't my style and I did not want to bring it in my booth that way. So I've got some fun plans of things for next week's video, hint, hint, to put inside that basket and sell those things from that basket in my booth. So don't forget to look out for next week's video. That's all I'm going to say on that. Um, if you are new here, thank you so much for being here. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to all so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I am so thankful you guys are here. I hope that you guys get to creating, not just for things to sell, but to feed that creative soul. Don't forget to do that. I'm reminding myself too, okay? So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.